Should men over 70 get a PSA test? There's the ongoing question of whether men over age 70 should still be screened for prostate cancer with a PSA blood test. This debate has continued for years but one thing that's certain is that men are living longer. Could we be missing cancer in older, healthy men who really need to be treated? Is the cutoff for PSAs at age 70, still relevant when a significant portion of men may have many years of life ahead of them? Many guidelines recommend against PSA screening in men older than 70 to 75 years because of the risk of overdiagnosis and lack of evidence of a mortality reduction in this age group. It's believed that the harms of screening might outweigh the benefits in an older population. This is now coming into question more and more as men live longer and many of those men are still healthy and active as they grow older. PSA Testing Overview Prostate-specific antigen, PSA, is a protein produced by normal as well as malignant cells of the prostate gland and is found in the blood. The PSA test measures the level of PSA in a man's blood. For this test, a blood sample taken at a doctor's office is sent to a laboratory for analysis. The results are usually reported as nanograms of PSA per milliliter of blood. The blood sample taken is used to monitor the level of PSA being produced by the prostate. Take-home message. It is expected that the population of people older than age 65 in the United States will approach 83.7 million, making up approximately 20% of the overall population. Prostate cancer is the second most common cancer in American men, and the incidence of this disease increases with age. Given the aging population, the incidence of prostate cancer in the youth is expected to climb as high as 382,000 diagnoses annually in 2030, nearly 2.5 times higher than the diagnoses in 2017. With this knowledge, it's vital that we provide expert screening, treatment, and long-term survivorship care for older men with prostate cancer in the coming years. That's why to stop PSA testing at age 70 is not a solution. If men over the age of 70 are not getting a PSA test, think of the men with prostate cancer that would be undiagnosed. It's been shown that older men who have a PSA blood test are less likely to be diagnosed with high-risk prostate cancer. For the men either who declined or were not offered PSA testing, had more than a threefold higher risk of having a high-grade prostate cancer diagnosis, impacting their ability to fight off the disease successfully if it had been found at an earlier, more treatable stage.